Hello tennis players, Coach Jeff here. I'm at my beautiful home base, Chennault Country Club in Little Rock, Arkansas. Spring is here and it's time to get on the doubles court. In this video, we're gonna go over some intermediate doubles tactics and strategies to help you win more. Now, in the very first video of this series, which I'll link down in the description somewhere, we talked about how important it is to get to the net. At high level doubles, you're gonna win when you can get both players up to the net. In this video, we're gonna talk about ways that you're able to get to the net, particularly behind the return of serve and when you're in those one up, one back cross court rallies when you get a short ball. What we won't go over in this video is serve and volleying. That's a little bit tougher. There's gonna be a separate few videos on that, so make sure to subscribe to see those. So let's start with the return of serve. The return of serve is a definitely a place where you should be able to get into, the, get into the net quite a bit. Unless they're serving an absolute bomb and you just don't feel like you can get it back cross court away from the net player, and you also don't feel like you can hit with your center of gravity going forward, then maybe you'll stay back. But at all levels of tennis, people struggle with their serve, at least their second serve, you should be able to return and come in. Both while you're rallying and on the return of serve, remember it's different from singles. You, you don't have to be quite as picky on what you're gonna come in on because you only have to cover half of the court. Now when you watch high level doubles, the return has a very different look from in singles. In singles, you're not going to the net. You'll see them stay further back. They'll let their follow through pull them more back to the middle of the court because that's where you're gonna go after that. In doubles, you're gonna try to take the ball a little earlier. This means you're getting more pace off the incoming ball so you can keep your swing shorter. Also with that follow through, you wanna feel like your center of gravity is in front when you're hitting, keeping a short swing, and you want that follow through to pull you forward into the net. Now keep in mind on that return of serve, it's a predetermined plan. You should know how good is their first serve, how good is their second serve. You're either coming in and you're not. It's not really an improvised strategy. When you're gonna do it, you're ready to do it, you're taking off. Now, the other time you're gonna come in is when you're in those cross court rallies, one up, one back. You're playing keep away from your net players and you're waiting for either they're gonna miss or they are gonna give you a short ball at some point. And you wanna be ready for that short ball. You wanna make it a point that if it's a little short, you can get hit, get in, and then get back behind that baseline. That's kind of a more beginner type problem we see where people kind of drift into the court and they end up in no man's land. So if it's a little short, you get back, you hit, you get back. If it's deep, you get back, you hit it, and then you're gonna come back in. Um, you wanna feel like you're a magnet to the baseline always. You hit and then you get back in, and then you're saying to yourself, where's my short ball, where's my short ball? Because it's, it's so important to identify that short ball coming. The difference between the short ball coming, bouncing, going to its apex and dropping into your racket and going in and a, ball, a short ball coming and you immediately moving in and taking it on the rise is huge because those few more steps that you're going to get closer to the net is going to make all the difference in winning up there. Now it's super easy to work on both of these situations in which you're going to practice going to the net. Go out with your doubles partner, split the court in half, play out cross court, have them served you. Practice returning and coming in over and over again. And then just feed the ball in play sometimes, just practice rallying cross court. And then when one of you gives each other a short ball, either on purpose or on accident, practice moving in, taking it early, and get to the net. If you can get to the net in doubles, I promise you're gonna win more matches. If not at first, eventually, it's something that's gonna make a huge difference in your doubles game. So here's two ways to get to the net. Now we're gonna go over serving and volleying in a future series, so definitely subscribe to see that. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'm gonna see you next time. Have a great day.